why you have been craving stuff like this. We're going to actually put some data and some science behind it. Yeah, exactly. Dr. Elizabeth Mead from Swedish Hospital joins us now. A lot of people were telling us, you know, during the height of the storm, they were really Hiding agitated. Out, just shoveling. <laughs> oh, yeah, agitated, eating more. I think a lot of people's New Year's resolutions went out the window. Yeah. Did you go to the grocery store? It was like cleaned out of all the junk food, right? Yeah. 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 And even my kids, instinctively, instinctively as we were pre snow shopping, they were like, I want ice cream, mm -hmm. Oreos. I mean, yep. this is stuff we hardly, we don't buy very yeah. often. Okay, yeah. so what is going on with this? Well, so there's lots of different reasons why we might do this more in the winter, and we can talk about those. I do think there's a certain element with our kind of snowpocalypse that happened mm -hmm. that it almost felt like a party to people, right? If you didn't have to go to work or school, For it sure. was like a celebration. So I think some of those habits really oh, did go out the window. Okay. But there's other reasons why we tend to do that in the winter more than the summer anyway, even without a huge snowstorm. Okay. And what are those reasons? So there's some hormonal changes our bodies make more melatonin, which makes us kind of wow. sleepier, more sluggish, that we make less serotonin. And carbs are actually serotonin rich foods. So there are some sort of biological mm. reasons why we crave, crave those in the winter. Carbs. And then also just when it's freezing outside and nasty, you want warm, comforting Comfort. food, Comfort. right? You, you don't want it, right? a salad. It doesn't sound that tempting to people. I'm, I, my eyes feel open. So there really is a hormonal change yeah. that happens. Serotonin. Yep. I'm making more melatonin or something. I'm sleeping more, <laughs> exactly. and then this gives me serotonin. It does give you serotonin. Wow. And then yeah. the other thing is we eat a lot when we're bored, right? And so when you're stuck yeah. inside, you're not doing your usual exercises, you're not doing your usual activities, you're just kind of sitting around. It's natural to just go foraging because you're just kind of bored and you don't know what else to do. I think that's a lot of it. I know my daughters haven't eaten a meal in years. It's just full-time snacking. Yeah. And particularly during the snow, it was constant. I'm hungry. Yep. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. It's probably Generation YouTube. But we, we talked about... <laughs> putting chowder in the bathtub at one point. Yeah. We talked about it. Well, is so. there any way to trick our bodies so that, because I mean, as much as I could use the serotonin, yeah. you know, my hips don't need this. If I use you the know, mood light, am I going to not crave it? There are <laughs> ways to get the serotonin without the junk, right? Okay. So we talk about kind of whole grain, slow carbs, things that don't spike your blood sugar as much, so things like quinoa and oats and legumes. Those can all be really healthy ways to get. We need carbohydrates, right? Mm -hmm. So we need some carbs, certainly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Michelle doesn't like legumes. She says they're gross. I'll, okay, I'll how about quinoa? Quinoa. Yeah, that's okay. Um, but also, I think, you know, this is going to be a little bit controversial, but I would say if you know that you're going to want carbs at some point during the day, if you can really focus on having a healthy breakfast and a healthy lunch and allowing yourself to have that for your last meal as sort of a satisfier, that might work for you too. So it's kind of like the cheat day mentality, but cheat meal, end of the day, if it's yeah, got carbs. I, mean, I hate the cheat thing because okay. I think these can also be healthy foods that can yeah. satisfy you. You can put hot things on your salad. So even if you're having a salad, you can put roasted veggies or warm mm -hmm. grains, right? Things that really are nourishing and kind of satisfying for you. You, it's also really important to drink a lot of water and this is another thing we do not do oh, as much in the winter yeah. because we're not hot and we don't feel that kind right. of thirst drive in the same way okay so making sure that we're staying hydrated really can help because sometimes we're just thirsty and we think we're hungry instead oh this is good Dr. Well, we, yeah Jordan said that we might get more snow this week so does that mean I can eat meatloaf and mashed potatoes we're and gonna practice for like three days finding the week? balance yeah I think balance is great <laughs> okay. yeah well you twist her arm right. I'm gonna toss it over to Jordan and Casey but thank you so much you're it welcome. feels so much better